And welcome back to the program. Well, as I promised before the break, we're now joined by All Sports uh, over at Oakloose County. They do a lot of great work in the community with uh, some nonprofits, some other nonprofits in the community that they work with. And they also put on great events at the end of February that we're going to talk about here in just a second. Joining me to talk about that is Terry Pilger and Gary McCoy from All Sports. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being here today. Good morning. Thanks for having us. So, uh, Gary, let's start with you, and let's start with all sports in general. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people have heard of all sports. They know of your banquet that you have each year. You guys have had some outstanding uh, guest speakers over the years, and, of course, the Warfel Trophy, which is a nationally recognized trophy, is one that you guys give out. But tell us a little bit about all sports and your mission and uh, how you guys do give back to the community. Well, we are a, a, a group of 100 uh, dues-paying members that um, – give their time and energy to um, try to give back to the community. Um, this is going to be our 54th uh, year uh, of putting on a, a banquet. So we're very, very proud of that. Um, in the last several years, we've given about $1.5 million back to the community, raised those kind of funds, and, uh, and just continue to amaze how much uh, generosity the community has for, for uh the event. Absolutely. So what kind of organizations do y'all work with in the community to give back that over a million dollars worth of funds? Uh, the Boys and Girls Club, the um, Eleanor Johnson Youth Center, uh, Special Olympics, and the uh, FCA, Fellowship of Christian okay. Athletes. Okay. So That's our main athletes. sponsors. And then we also have uh, given a, quite a bit of money this year. We're very proud of uh, giving over $100,000 to the three county school districts for their sports programs. Okay, wow, that's great. So you guys are, as you said, 100 members, dues paying members. So you're all volunteers, I assume. And you, you take those funds and distribute it uh, to the nonprofits in the community. So that's, that's outstanding. Um, let's talk about how you raise a lot of these funds that you guys can donate outside of the dues and everything, and how you guys are able to, to uh, raise the money for the community. And of course, that, a lot of that comes from uh, your events that take place towards the end of February. Uh, so, Terry, we'll, we'll switch over to you and, and talk about some of the events that you guys have coming up towards the latter part of February and, and how people can get involved and get tickets. So our big event comes our banquet and awards banquet where we award um, scholastic high school athletes, um, collegiate athletes, professional athletes. Um, and we bring in people from all over the country either to speak or for our award winners. Um, we like to recognize local athletes and that's where a lot of our funding comes from for the organization we um we put on a banquet usually there's about 1500 people that show up um you can do a corporate sponsorship um we have some great back and, and people in the community that help our organization um some really good support our banquet this year our speaker chad hennings comes in um on the 24th, and that'll be at the convention center. Um, we'll have the FCA, Taylor Haugen Trophy will be awarded to the winner um, that morning. And then um, the night before, we like to recognize local athletes who are either signing with a college or, or special recognition. Um, we do that at a fish fry at the fairgrounds on Thursday night before our big event. So we're, we still have tickets, um, still have sponsorships. We'd love to have the community support us. Okay. And I'll, I'll figure out, or I'll ask you here in a second, how to get those tickets, where people can go to get those tickets. But you mentioned all the awards and we were kind of joking uh, a little bit before we started rolling. Uh, Cause obviously the Warfel trophy is a nationally recognized uh, award that you guys started several years ago. And uh, since you know, we're all Seminoles here on the, on the uh, call today, we were kind of happy about this year's winner. So tell us about the Warfel Trophy in general, uh, why it's given to a, a collegiate athlete, and then who this year's winner is. Uh, the Warfel Trophy uh, was uh, started by um, three members of our club. I uh, thought it would be a great idea. Danny, had, Danny Warfel had given a lot, of uh, a lot of help to our organization over the years, and we thought it would be a great honor to – have an award um, with his name on it because of what he stood for. Um, he uh, he didn't really want to do that, but uh, we're glad he did, and it's be become a great success. Uh, it's kind of been called the humanitarian Heisman, 
uh, mostly for community service. What these young men do is very, uh, it's very hard to pick some of the, the people that we, we get. You know, we hear a lot of bad things about um, athletes. We don't always hear about the great things that these athletes are doing. And this year's uh, example is just great because, again, he's a seminal. Yeah, that's it. Definitely a great award, as you said. It's great to recognize these people for all the great work they do in the community, not just on the field, but also in their community. So we've got about 30 seconds left, but I want to make sure we tell people how to get tickets to the events, how they can sponsor or participate uh, in the events this year. So what's the best way they can go about uh, getting those tickets or supporting you guys? Well, they can contact any All Sports member, um, and um, uh, they can go on our website and contact us. There's uh, a, a contact page there, allsportsassociation.com, um, and we'll reach out, reach out to them uh, and answer any questions we might, they might have. All right, well, perfect. Gary, Terry, thank you both hey, so much you. for being my – Yeah, go ahead, Terry. Thank you, sir. Oh, no, thank you. I, I appreciate you all joining, and uh, you know, best of luck with this year's event. I hope to see you guys there uh, on the 24th. So thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you, Cam. Absolutely. Stay with us when we come back. We're going to finish up the show with the Boys and Girls Club.